Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you, John. Uh, today, Pastor, this is a question I have based on your Bible study last night as you were talking about uh, authority and government. And, and one of the things that you were speaking about is the question you'd asked yesterday is, are we being set up by our government, by our media? Along with that, uh, we, we see that our rights as Christians and Americans, we're, we're losing our rights as Christian Americans. And then it led me to the, the question I want to ask you is, you know, with this possibly being Christians and Americans being censored, how does that affect Christianity or hinder the gospel from going out? And does that limit the Great Commission for us to go and evangelize there Jesus are, Christ? There are, excuse me, there are no doubt efforts being made to censor us. Um, there's no doubt. I mean, even even with the recent uh, situation with COVID, you know, where we were told that uh, we were not to assemble, and we were also told that you could have only a certain amount if you do, and then we were also told you have to wear masks, and then we were told you can't sing, and um, there were people who were who were being um, kept from their family who were dying. There were funerals that couldn't be held with family members. Mm -hmm. there, there were marriages, weddings that were being um, sh short-circuited because uh, numbers of guests would be limited on and on and on. Uh, in our schools here in California, you know, if you oppose the, uh, the, the brainwashing that uh, is taking place in many of the secular schools, where uh, vulgar books are being mm. uh, read and parents aren't being uh, notified of the child's uh, uh, confusion or verbalizing questions about their own sexuality, et cetera, et cetera. And so when, when someone stands up and says, this is wrong, you are silenced immediately. And so absolutely, I do believe that what's going on is a precursor to the shutting down of, of the ability to speak freely, to think freely. Um, many years ago, C.S. Lewis uh, wrote a, an essay uh, related to what he called the abolition of man. Mm -hmm. And in his essay was pointing out that words have meanings and when the words are, are changed to mean something else, you're actually making the, the culture tilt towards the new meaning of that word. And so we've seen that when we've seen people who are marching for peace or we're seeing uh, equal rights or matters of choice uh, where the word gay once right. just meant to be happy, and they changed that word. So you're seeing it even as, as you're growing up in, in this world. And, and so some of the terms like love and peace and joy have been invested with different meanings to change the way we think Tolerance is the eleventh commandment now, so yes, we are we are having our rights very slowly curtailed. Whereas, as a as a grandparent or a parent, and you hear your child is is uh, being brainwashed with something that you on a religious basis disagree with, and yet you're told to shut up, right. you're even taken out in handcuffs because you disagreed. Um, these are the kinds of things that are taking place in the United States, but I was listening to a Muslim apologist just the other day who said, you have in the United States sexualized your children when you're speaking to a four-year-old and talking to them about masturbation and sexual intercourse and anal intercourse. He says, you are perverse as a nation, and we in the Muslim world would never put up with that. And I saw that as uh, unfortunate truth. That is true because you have people who are silencing our voices. And so when something occurs in a school board meeting and, and, and people are rising up saying, this is not what we want for a child. We do pay taxes. I, I still pay taxes uh, for the educational system. I don't have children in it anymore. My children are all grown up. They have their own children. And yet I'm still paying my taxes so that the government can brainwash my children. So my grandchildren. So yes, I, I believe that there is a, a movement to silence Christians and uh, that it, it is not that far off, John, mm. until uh, there are new stringent laws related to what we can say from the pulpit. 
I don't know if you realize this or know this, but in Canada, you can't speak against homosexuality from the pulpit. They will take your, your, uh, your, your, your lecture, your, your, your sermon, discard it, and you can be fined for violating the law. Wow. That, that can happen here. People think it can. It can, and it is, slowly but surely. It's all moving towards, uh, and we talked about this before, a one-world government. Absolutely. And that it's slowly taken a right. So, so as Christians, what are we to do? We stand up and speak. I mean, when, they, when the apostles were told, uh, no longer preach in this man's name, they said it is better for us to, uh, to obey God rather Amen. than man. Amen. At the end of the day, um, this is why we were saved, is to declare the praises of God to a society that needs to hear it. So we just continue speaking. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor David. And, you know, your message last night really stirred these things up. And if you didn't see Pastor David's message, you can go on our Facebook page at Calvary Chapel Chino Valley and our YouTube page and catch last night's message. Do want to invite you to our uh, Sunday morning services at 8.30 and 10.45. Great opportunity to invite a friend. You'll be in Acts chapter 11. Is it Acts chapter? Yeah, you <laughs> caught me off guard on that one. Acts 11. 11, yes. 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 And so great opportunity to invite your friends. And then for those we have uh, who are in worship, we have our worship conference starting today. You can actually still register online if, they'd like to. Uh, if you'd like to register. And it's going to be until Saturday. You can register uh, through our webpage or CCA Worship. You can look that up and you can register there. But thank you guys for tuning in. God bless you. Pastor David, thank you so much. We'll see you.